This is what, uh, I'm gonna show you just a little bit of what Solar can do. This isn't so big, this is only maybe two and a half foot long, maybe two foot big, uh, two foot tall, two foot big. Uh, I've had a few to drink, so it's gonna get interesting from here on out. Uh, this is, uh, once upon a time, uh, Dodge had uh, an old pickup truck they called the Power Wagon. Well, this is my, well, Power Wagon. Okay, so this is a, oh shoot, man, I wanna say a 100 watt panel, maybe not, maybe. It's, anyway, so we're, I'm gonna give you a crash course on, uh, on on what solar can do. This is I'm gonna do a simple breakdown. I'm gonna try to make it simple for you. Oh, I need to stop that music. We're we're gonna. I'll show you how to hook up the. Uh, this is charge controller. I'll explain a little bit what it's about. We have a meter up there to tell where we're at, and I have a a, a, a way to use the power. I'll, I'll get into that here in just a second. The sun's kind of give and take right now, so uh, hopefully this all work out. Let me uh, get you on a tripod and, uh, and 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 I'll see if I can show you what's going on. Okay guys, here we go. It's kind of bright out here, so it's not really easy for me to see. Hopefully y'all will be able to see, because it's not important where I can see or not. Okay, so what we're working with is we have that one little solar panel I just showed you. We have a regular old car battery, and like I said, we, we talked about this just a bit before. This is not really good for deep cycle. This is just uh, to show you what's going on. This is a 12 volt battery, and the voltage is over here. Again, I'm hoping you can see what I'm seeing, because... Uh, I got this thing on a tripod directly like in front of me, kind of like between me and the project. Uh, we're at 13.09. Okay, now to keep the to keep the solar panel from burning up the battery, either it's going to take a lot of editing or y'all going to have a lot of patience. Y'all going to have to have a lot of patience. There's this thing. This is a charge controller. This is good for 12 volts, of course, and then 30 amps. Well, we're not putting near 30 amps through it. I think this little panel only puts out eh, almost 2 amps. Okay, and it's on the lead acid battery side. And what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to, to charge the battery without destroying the battery. This is going to continue to put out 19 volts. I could show you, but I don't want to consume any more time than, than what I'm doing. Uh, so uh, it's going to put out 19 volts. The battery is only 12. So this needs this this is a this limits the the power that the battery gets. When the battery gets full, it says, "Okay, no more power to the battery." But then when power is being drawn from the battery, it knows to ex it knows to accept more power from the panel. Okay, so let's get this baby hooked up. It's super super easy to hook up. As you see, it says array, which is solar panel and battery, which obviously is the battery. So quickly, I'll go on and get this hooked up. So. Uh, I'm gonna set it down over here. Oh, excuse me. And then, okay, this is the battery one. We're gonna hook that one up uh, first. F first is the battery. Solar panels are stupid, they don't care. Okay, so what I've got going here is, is, is from the negative side, I have the test lead that works the meter, and you can see it, it, it's dropping because everything is unhooked from it, and I just had it, I just had it charging. So now it's relaxing, it, it's getting comfy. So we've got a negative and a positive from the battery. Uh, this stuff sits outside a lot, and so um, it, it, some of the some of the connections might might not be so good, and we might have to like move some j like jostle some things around to make it all more active. Anyway, this is from the charge controller. This is the battery in. We're gonna hook up the negative, or the, excuse me, the positive, and then the negative, and 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 so we're we're good with that. And so at this point, it should tell how many volts are in the battery. It says 12.9. 12.9, and our current coming in from the panels obviously is zero. We haven't hooked that guy up at all. Okay, we, we, so we have, we have, we know that the, the, the charge controller is getting power. This is a very simple controller. This particular one is about $99. They might look different, but they make a lot of them that, that are the same exact controller, just with a different color or name. Okay, so then we're gonna hook up, this comes from the solar panel. This guy's here, and I just happen to have, you see I got those connectors on there, and you can use those. I just happen to have one that, that, that uh, connects this way. It's not really relevant, that part. It's because I have another little solar panel that uses that same connection. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the solar panel. You can see, let, let's, let, me, let me pan over to the, the uh, 
there we're at 1286 now the Sun is not bright at this point but we're gonna go ahead and plug it in gonna go ahead and plug it in and that should increase at least some again the Sun's not bright but okay so we're at 85 87 89 and we're gonna reset this like we did last time remember and and we'll see we'll see what the solar is doing to this little battery here it's the same scenario as what I had going uh, uh, for the whole house system thing or uh, the bigger system this is just on a much smaller scale it, it's uh, I don't want to blind you by pushing you you know to going toward the the sky or whatever but it, it's not very bright out and so looking at the looking here we've already increased voltage and our current that we're bringing in from the Sun is at 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.7 and, and it's starting I think the clouds are passing it's sort of overcast but it, it, it's blue in between so that this uh, Hopefully it'll work with me and and uh, making this demonstration. So uh, we're at 0.6, and, and and hopefully that'll increase soon. Uh, this is just a little setup, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to hook up a power inverter. The power inverter brings it from the 12 volts from the battery over here, and it's going to make it 120 volts. You might have a little teeny one in your car that might work something in your car. Uh, People use them a lot for like charging batteries, especially on job sites and stuff. They get used a lot. So we're at 0.7, and and uh, okay, I'm gonna set that to the side, and I'll show you what what we're gonna do. Again, some of this stuff sat out for a while, and so this right here is a power inverter. The name is not important. It's a 750 watt power inverter, and it goes in with the 12 volts from this end here, and some alligator, some big alligator clips like jumper cables. And, and I'm going to hook those to the battery. Again, I might have some issues getting them to make a good connection because you see the condition they're in. They're kind of crusty. And then from out of the other end is 120 volts. And it's also got like a little uh, HDMI, not H, no, it's not a USB thing to charge like small, small stuff. Okay, so I'm going to add that as a load here in just a second. See, the sun's coming back out a bit. And so now we're getting almost one amp of power. <laughs> that's not a really big solar panel so it's just not gonna rock and roll this <laughs> to the to the 30 amps that it needs I think that's only like a, a two amp uh, uh, amperage is 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 like uh, I, I won't get into that this time but anyway uh, that, that, it's not a lot it's not a lot, whole lot of power so uh, let me go ahead and hook up the uh, let me go ahead and hook up the uh, 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 the cables to the inverter all right, sun is not going to work with me, is it? All right, let's see if I can do this and send y'all that way for a second to see those. Hopefully that's coming in for y'all guys. I am just going to hook up the black to the black and the red to the red to the to the power inverter. So this is how we, so, so we'll get the panel that makes the power. This tells it when to stop. Uh, this is just a meter, so we can see what the hell's going on. And, and then we're going to add some load to it. Load is anything that is being drawn from. And so we're going to add some load to it. We're going we're to use the power that the solar panel is making. And, uh, and uh, it's not so important, but if you do remember, the red goes first and then the black. So again, these, these connections might be, I might have to jostle them around a little bit to make it all kind of come to life. But, and I wouldn't keep this as, you know, I'd, I'd go on and clean things up before... Uh, <laughs> before I used anything long term. Okay, yeah, the sun is not cooperating with us. Okay, we can still do our load test. So, for our load, we've got the inverter, which only just moves it from the, the 12 volts to make 120. Now, that thing alone uses power. Just to turn it on uses power. That, that's just the way things work. And so there's a lot of loss in, in solar things and, and if everything isn't very efficient then you're gonna lose a lot of power just just moving power around okay so we've got the little inverter hooked up hopefully this all pan out right to where uh, okay we got the inverter hooked up the red wire there the black wire over there and this is our little power inverter over yonder and we are gonna turn it on uh, it did come on, so our connections are good enough. Like I said, it, this, some of this stuff kind of sits outside, some of these old cables and crap. So we, we have power. And, and for our load, okay, so we're at, we're at 16, and we'll reset this one more time. That's going to tell us what's happening with the battery. Now, it, it's probably going to decrease. You're probably going to hear some beeping from that, being that, that 
Well, first of all, there's very little power coming from the sun. Second of all, that inverter is using power. Gosh, this is going to be a long video. I might even put this on a second one. All right, so you see it's decreasing, I'm assuming. Turn to 11. Son of a bitch, my beer is way over there. Anyway, all right, so you see we're decreasing power. That's just, just from that thing being alive, just because it you have the option to use 120. 120 volts uh, US current, however you want to put it. So our, oops, yeah, our load is going to be this. We're going to charge up this battery. Names aren't important. I don't, I don't need any troubles from anybody's. Anyway, this is a battery, and um, we're... Uh, Oh, it says it's charged already. Okay, so this might not last long. I don't know how many dead batteries I have, but I'm just trying to give it some load. So, we've got the power inverter. It's on, so we've made the power. We stored it in the battery, and then we're converting it to 120. We're going to plug in this thing. It could be any old thing. It could be a light. It could be a fan. It could be whatever. As long as it isn't any more than the, than the, the 750, we're good to go. So you see immediately, this is dropping down like crazy. That's okay. No problem. No problem. That's under our 100 percent mark. That's 1273. Uh, and you see right now we're not bringing in very much power. Let me get a little closer. Maybe that helps. Hopefully y'all are seeing all this or any of this or something. Okay. So the sun is not working with me right now. But the good thing that should happen would be for the the sun to come around some, and so these this this number would come up. Anyway, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. This is like empty battery. I forgot the numbers where these change what, what is what. We're still pretty full, so it's still pretty happy. And, and, and all is well. Although it looks like we're dumping out really quick, we're under load. We're under load. Okay, so it's just going to stabilize there. It says, okay, that's pretty, pretty much where it's going to stabilize. Like I said a while ago, when you get to that 12-1 that mark, you're down to the 50%. But we're not bringing in much sun. Okay, right now, uh, oh yeah, that battery is charged. You see, okay, the battery completed charging because you can hear the little fan blowing in there, and the uh, uh, there we go. And so the, the voltage is going to come back up because there's no more load on it. Okay, uh, I'm going to shut you off real quick and uh, note the note the voltage. Uh, I'll stop it at 1250 just for grin sakes. Guys, before I totally lose my train of thought, uh, yeah, I got sidetracked. Uh, you'll see another video of uh, a snake in the backyard. I might call it something different later. Anyway, Dad come down, put uh, well, you put fresh blades on the mower, and then come down, and uh, well, we seen a snake, and so getting sidetracked. And of course, he's excited about his new blades, so he's uh, running the mower. So anyway, in conclusion, so uh, and the sun's not coming back out, so it really doesn't help with this project. So we've got our solar panel that has gone through the charge controller down there, the blue one and charge up the battery. We're, we're using the power out of the power inverter and we charge. I didn't find any dead batteries, but we will we'll try it one more time real quick like. Sorry about the noise in the background, gents. I'm going to try to close this up. You can see that uh, we're only bringing in 0.1 uh, uh, amps of power, which isn't much. I'm going to start the inverter again and you'll see the, uh, the power on the meter uh, uh, changing quite a bit because uh, because uh, I was charging the battery. All right, I'm trying to draw this to a conclusion and be done with it, and and so uh, we'll let you go after that. All right, uh, yeah, so, so it's drawing it down, but anyway, uh, I guess the, in theory what happens is, is when the load is done, when the battery is charged back up, or you have more solar panel than your load, that, that it goes on and, and, and brings it back up to full power. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of settled out at the 12.18. The, the, uh, it's okay to bring it down below the 12.1, but you, you wouldn't want to do that often, or, you know, uh, you want to make sure it's kind of uh, keeping up anyway. All right, guys, let me get out of here. Uh, Dad's making a lot of racket back there, and uh, so here we are. Simple little system, solar panel, charge controller. And see the charge controllers? Eh, where'd I put it? Anyway, uh, I must have moved it. Charge controllers don't have to be that big or that that fancy. I've got one that's literally about this big. It, it, it's smaller than your wallet, and, and it does three and a half amps. So as long as your solar panel isn't real big, uh, you can get away with that. It doesn't have to be as fancy as this. You don't have to spend $100 on a controller. The smaller controller that I was just talking about, 
that I cannot find right now. Anyway, it, it's it's smaller than this. It, it's smaller than this thing compared to my hand. It's smaller than that, and and it's uh, three and a half amps, but it still does a trick. It's got two lights on it. One says charge. One says charged. Or ch one says charging. One says charged. But it, but it it it, it uh, limits the power that the battery gets, so you don't burn up the battery. All right, guys. Crash course on solar power, charging batteries. How about that? Charging batteries. No name is important. All right, guys. Adios. May the force be with you. I'll see you next time. And enjoy your freaking afternoon. Go solar. Go solar. Yeah, I still got to move that thing on Saturday night. I know, I know. Catch you later. Adios.